Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this unique crinoline headband. But before we dive in, let us find out the winners of the brooch challenge. It was a tie. Contestant number one and contestant number, number two. Number four. Congratulations. You have just won to attend the Venkrat Academy Fascinator Class 1 for free. free. If you're interested in attending this class also, not for free though, please to check the description below this video for the link where you can get more details. Thanks. Before we dive in for the last time, have you subscribed to this great channel of mine? A channel where you get to learn how to make crinoline and hot wire fascinators and get to see my unique latest designs that would inspire you as well as tips and tricks on the craft? Wait no more. Click that subscribe button below this video and also the bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Now we dive into today's training. Here are the materials we would be needing to make this unique headband fascinator starting from the right. A piece of bridal satin, the size to cover up the part used to cover the underneath of the headband. In this case it's 3 by 13 inches. A piece of pad, the size to cover the particular Alice band you are making use of. In this case it's 1.3 by 12 inches. Scissors, needle and matching thread. Crinoline roses, which I made in a previous video, you can check the link up. Bead antennas I made, Alice Band, B6000, an electric glue gun with a candle gum, of course. Let's get cooking. The first step is to get our crinoline roses looking hot and beautiful with the beaded antennas. In case you don't know how to make the beaded antennas and you would want to know, please write in the comment section below this video, please teach me how to make the beaded antennas and I will get that done as soon as possible. So we would be making use of the B6000 to glue them in the middle of the crinoline roses. Now we're going to be gluing them to face different directions. Watch and learn. So we have all five crinoline roses beautified with our beaded antenna. Now I would show you how I got the measurement for the pad and also the bridal satin which I used to cover under the Alice band. Now the pad and the bridal satin is actually 12 inches okay no yeah the bridal the pad is 12 inches and the bridal satin because it's going to cover the pad it is one inch longer that's 13 inches now this is what i did i measured the alice band to see that measurement so i got 12 that's how i got that it will be 12 because i wanted to cover like that with the roses and so this is how the pad is actually going to sit inside abby underneath the alice band okay now actually the bridal satin you can use any other material it doesn't have to be bright or satin. I was actually thinking mm, I should have used a glittering material. But anyways, that would be another time. Let's progress. So I'm going to be sewing the bright or satin in the reverse because I will turn it inside out later. Now I actually started with running stitches, but I discovered no, running stitches wouldn't cut it out for me. So I did um, back stitches in the you will soon see when I started doing the back stitches I had to stop because this didn't give me what I wanted when I turned it inside out you know if you use a sewing machine when you turn it inside out you don't see the sewing it's it's hidden but if you use um, running stitches it will show but if you use back stitches it's like using a sewing machine so if you have a sewing machine you can use that that would be faster so you're just going to sew the left side or the right side and straight down Okay, so here is the back stitch. This is how you do the back stitch. So this is me doing the back stitch that works like a sewing machine. 
So if you have a sewing machine, just please do use the sewing machine. It will make it faster. For, but this is for the benefit of those who don't have a sewing machine. Just do back stitches all the way down like that. You leave the other side open. Okay, the next step is to turn it inside out. So that's what I'm doing now with the scissors. Watch and learn. The next step to making this gorgeous crinoline headband is to get our pad and put it inside what we have just sewn. Watch and then. Once that's done, you glue the other side with B6000 like so. Watch and learn. Next step on how to design this hot and looking crinoline headband is to sew the crinoline roses to the Alice band. You start with the middle one and then start sewing on opposite sides like this to ensure it looks uniform. So I'm starting with the middle one. After I finish that, I will do the two sides. Watch and learn. I'm done with all five now. The next step is to cover up the Alice band to make it look neat. So let me know what you think. What occasion do you think you can use this type of headband for? Do let's discuss in the comment section below this video. Write down what occasion do you think it can be used for and I would let you know what I have in mind.
thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video i hope you have i have empowered you to create wealth thanks for watching